website www.fixmycreditandcash.com go to fixmycreditandcash.com select the credit help tab here all right the credit help help tab located here and after you select credit help um, and you can find out more about the services here as well but after you select on credit help also you can get the silver stack report if you on the home page uh, if you stroll all the way down silver stack report now is the time more than ever people for you all to start converting your cash into commodities like converting your cash into commodities and one of those includes silver right because you do understand that if your cash is just sitting in the bank you are you are in actuality losing um three percent interest on that or because the dollar every day is becoming more and more devalued by the increasing of pricing for our everyday goods and services, right? Uh, prices are increasing because we are in an economic uh, reset, right? That happens on average every 10 years. The last economic reset or recession happened in 2008, you know, the housing crash. We're two years overdue from, you know, then you have 1999, the dot-com bubble, 2000 era. So this happens every 10 years, right? Um, and that's why this health pandemic adding to it was really no surprise to me. We as a nation, United States, was already in big economic um, trouble before the Rona came into play, right? And so if you want credit help so you can learn how to start paying yourself interest, right? And not just paying the bank interest, right? Start paying yourself interest. Stop paying the bank's interest, right? You pay the bank's interest by having bad credit. Stop having these double digits, vehicles, finance, interest rates, 12%, 18%, 20%, right? You're paying, you're making the banks rich when you do that. Start using your credit to pay yourself and become the bank and start making yourself rich by using your credit, those three digits, right? To use the bank's money at a cheap, cheap debt, right? Or cheap interest to invest it in opportunities that will bring you a greater rate of return on the investment than what you're paying out for the debt. And let's have a teachable moment right here. Uh, yes, welcome. Uh, first live stream. Thank you, Gazoos. And we have Willie coming in from New Orleans to Nola's in the house as well. So let's 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 have Credit Church, right? Real quick. Um, real quick, because I wasn't planning on going here. But as they say in the church world, you have to move how the spirit or you know tells you to move. And the thing people have to understand is you're going to make someone rich, either with your paycheck, right, or your credit score. The question is who? Who will you make rich or richer, right? Every day that you get a job and you labor and you pay out 30 to 40 percent interest of every dollar that you earn out of a paycheck because employees and self-employed people are taxed the highest highest according to the tax laws of the united states so every day that you work for cash right or you earn cash you're you are making someone rich right so yes you want credit help Yes, yeah, start with the credit analysis, right? Start with the credit analysis. Hello, Michelle Bronx. Hello, Bronx. Coming in. Thanks for coming in. Thank you for joining. And so what you have to do is learn how to convert your paycheck, right? Your paycheck into passive income, right? 
learn how to convert your paycheck into passive income. Let me type it in. To passive income, right? Learn how to convert your paycheck into passive income. The first move, if you work for cash, right? If you, if any type of, I don't care if you're an independent contractor, you're still under a 1099 uh, high tax bracket, even higher than a W-4 employee, right? Thank you so much, Queen. Yes, Credit Church, uh, for the $20 super chat. Thank you all so much. I appreciate you supporting my time and the channel and the knowledge and the information. Thank you so much, Queen, for the uh, $20 super chat, right? And Jesus says, want to hit the uh, like button. Thank you so much. Yeah, just exit out of the live chat, chat real quick and then just hit the like button, right? And then come back into the, the live um, chat, right? Uh, and we still have people coming in. Hello, hello to you all. Thanks for the digital love. Thanks for hitting the like button. And thanks for the super chat, my queen. And so step one, if you have any type of taxable income, right, uh, which means independent contract, self-employed, specialist, right, that's where you see the S quadrant, or you just in the E quadrant where 90% of people are, employees, the first thing you have to learn to do is to convert your paycheck, right, into passive income. Now, I'm not against anyone uh, having uh, an LLC or a corporation, that type of business, but because, hey, Madam C.J. Walker, right, she got rich during the Great Depression, starting her own business, right? However, if you, again, receive any type of income in which you are paid out by a business or a company, right, in form of a paycheck, you still should convert your paycheck into passive income, right? Because you're still on the side of the quadrant that paying the IRS the most in taxes. Taxes are the reason why people become in debt. And then when people become or get in debt, right, or become in debt because they are receiving limited income and they are unable to pay themselves first out of their paycheck if they don't have these strategies in place, right? So the rich people, that's why they don't have a job. Because they understand if I have a job, I'm going to be taxed in the highest tax bracket that there is. And I want to keep more of the money that I'm making, right? The second thing that the rich and wealthy do is they use their credit, right? Or they use the bank's money to invest in assets, real assets, right and not liabilities we have to and this is getting to black dollars matter right minorities alike because 40 percent of black owned businesses right now um okay oh uh, i thought it was your tip uh 42 percent of black owned how my nails are dirty <laughs> black owned businesses right now are highly impacted uh in the economy 42 percent of black owned businesses, right? There is very little things in the stimulus package to help people who are still employed, right? Um, right now, every provision in place is for the unemployed, right? And so the $300 unemployment will end in approximately six weeks. So even the unemployed at this time need a game plan after this six weeks duration. October is going to be a very scary month financially. October, a very scary month 
Right, like George Jefferson. If you all don't know what morning is referring to, I uploaded a video. Um, I was watching, I caught the episode of the Jeffersons this morning and I uploaded the video and it was showing. And I decided to just record it on my phone. Something told me that this was something that I needed to share. So I started recording this episode on my phone. I had never seen the episode before. And it was showing, right, uh, the pre-Jefferson cleaners days in which he had a vision to open his dry cleaning business, right? Um, and he had the opportunity to get a loan from the bank. And maybe I'll just share that clip with you all instead of um, talking and breaking down. But the two things you have to do, right, if you have or are still getting a paycheck is to bring more of your money home, right, through your paycheck, because you pay more interest wise in taxes than you'll ever pay with bad credit or interest rates, right? And then you have to convert your cash, right, into commodities, into commodities, in, into income producing uh, opportunities, right? So again, unemployment, will only last up to six weeks. The big thing or big business right now, because you do know most businesses fail within five years, right? So you want to have a business that will be recession proof, right? That will be recession proof. Um, and also a business that you have already did your research and due diligence on, due diligence with, meaning that, let me spell this out. Although Madam C.J. Walker business thrived during the Great Depression, right? She was behind the scene for years working and working on the formula for her success. So she was prepared when the recession hit, she was not getting prepared, right? She was already prepared. So it's the scenario of trying to build um, like Noah's Ark, a boat in, in a storm, right? You, you prepare before the storm comes, right? Um, and the thing about it, a lot of people that's, that are still fortunate enough to be employed, the business ideas that they're, they are thinking about uh, building, right? Uh, I don't think is recession proof, recession ready, right? Right. So yes, that's my title, Black Money Matters. And one thing about her uh, is that doing a great she never went away from her foundational beliefs or her truth, which was to employ and create black women in her business who were, who she can teach and develop to be business women, right? Um, and, and through sales and through products and services and through marketing. And, and she stayed true to that, right? She stayed true to her roots, Madam CJ. Walker, right? More than just her hair roots, but her business roots as well. So let's get into the topic, right? Uh, so step one is to convert your paycheck into passive income. You do that through the home-based business that I'm affiliated with. They have certified IRS experts to help you do that legally, morally, and ethically, right? The second step is convert your cash into commodities, right? Convert your cash into commodities. What I mean by that is cash is losing 3% because of inflation, meaning the more cash sits idle, the higher pricing, pricing on goods and services are going 
and the higher our taxes will be next year as well. And so you have to convert your cash into a commodity or an asset that will outpace inflation. Inflation average 3% a year annually, right? And so you have to convert it. I don't care if that's flipping it in Forex, flipping it in crypto, flipping it through stocks, right? Flipping it through, um, I prefer not to flip houses, prefer to buy and hold and let it continually perpetuate a monthly cash flow because I believe in cash flow over capital gains, right? I personally believe in cash flow into capital gains, but you have to convert your cash into commodity, something that will outpace inflation and give you a greater rate of return, uh, preferably at 10, 15%, right? Cash being in a bank is worthless, honestly, because the banks pay you it's the lowest yielding asset it is, right? If you don't convert it into an asset, uh, it yields about 0.03% interest on it, which means the banks give you nothing in a savings account, right? During the time of my grandparents and great-grandparents, um, they used to have high interest rates on a savings account. That's not true anymore. So your grandparents' advice is not applicable anymore or is not wise anymore to put your money in the banks, right? So you have to convert it into high yielding assets. Now I prefer, I preference cash flowing assets over capital gains because capital gains income, meaning flipping, right? Uh, Forex or stocks will be taxed just like an income or a paycheck, right? So we know the name of the game is to legally pay less in tax. But cash flow, right, in a home-based business is an investment that you should be converting your cash and or credit into as well. You know, I don't care if you have to put it on a credit card, right? Because cash flow is tax less and Real estate cash flow is taxed less than capital gains, meaning that is when you buy and hold and get perpetual payments and income, that money is taxed as income, right? But you offset that. So when you have a tenant that's paying you, that has to be taxable income reported on your income taxes, right? However, if you take out debt or a loan, to purchase the property with or the multi-unit you know whatever your vision is that money is not income it's considered as a tax write-off and it becomes an asset to you because you don't have to report it as income it's a tax write-off loan right and now the money that you have flowing in or you're receiving from the tenant becomes tax less as well. So this is why, even though it requires a higher knowledge of financial IQ, it's all, always better to use debt to invest, especially when it comes to real estate, than your cash, right? Because if you use your cash, you, you are using the highest tax asset that it is. So if you go out and pay $50,000 for an investment property with your cash, right? That purchase will be highly taxed. And you get no tax write-off or tax deductions against that tax at the end of the year, as you would if you use debt, right? And now the income from the tenant is also taxable income. So using debt to invest in real estate, especially at the cheap rate that it's at now, 
is a way better financial decision and move to make versus using your cash, right? So convert your cash into commodities, um, convert credit into cash flow, right? And stop paying the bank's interest, right? Stop paying the bank's because there is systematic racism when it comes to um, lending minorities money, right? And this is the thing, people. We have so many people concerned about who to put in the White House, but they're not concerned about um, what's going on in their house, right? And I mean, and I mean, from an economic position. So many people concerned about who can we place in the White House to help us economically, but you're not preparing your own house economically, right? First, take care of your own house. What do I mean by that? Uh, first, learn how to get the money back that you are spending on your bills, your um, you know electrical bills, all of this is tax deductible, whether you are buying or renting, right? Learn how to get these tax deductions back to you. Learn how to hire your children to work in a business so you can get up to $12,400 uh, in tax deductions, right? To hire your children. Learn how to get money back for your cell phone bill that you're paying, for the mileage on your vehicles and the maintenance, right? And so there are so many people in the minority who's focused on the stick that there's enslaved in poverty and believing that uh, who they get in the White House is going to change their economic situation, right? Versus getting the key, which is learning the financial system in Black e economics. So work on improving your house situation, right? your situation is going on in your house first, whether you are renting or you a home buyer, learn to get a financial education to improve that situation so that money can flow back to you that you're spending out. The number one rule of the rich and wealthy is not only they focus on how they make their money, right? Do they make it off a job? Or do they make it off of investing, right? They focus on how they make their money, what side of the quadrant that they're on, but they also focus on how much of that money that they keep, right? How much of that money that they keep. And the poor working middle class only focus, their only mindset or financial IQ for keeping money is how much can I save or you know, this envelope has some writing on it, but how much can I save or how much can I stuff in an envelope, right? How much can I save or stuff in an envelope? Did you all know that money is made of cotton, right? Uh, money is made of cotton. And if you just kept it sitting without securing it in your home, uh, the racks would just eat it. And what I'm saying, what I'm saying is this. But if you convert that same cash, which is made of cotton, into gold or silver, which is constitutional, uh, real money, right? Even the rats couldn't, or you know, rodents couldn't get it and eat it. And and I'm saying that because a lot of people still are stuffing their money under their mattresses, stuffing it in envelopes. And that way of, of thinking or financial education has to be eradicated. You have to convert your money into things that appreciates in value versus depreciating. So let me share this article with you. Uh, Netflix moves more than 100 million because people, it's a wealth transfer going on. And if you're not educated and informed about it, you're.